What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushrooms Toy Box, and here we have, guess what? A Lego, another Lego video. So, I went to uh, the Lego store yesterday, and look what I found. I found, dun dun dun, the Simpsons Series 2 minifigures. Um, now, I don't know if, uh, if all you guys are big Simpsons fans, but these minifigures are awesome they are really 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 done well and um, I wanted to do a video now I wasn't able to get one out of 16 so oh and then if you go right now you buy anything you get a free ticket to Legoland Bing. all right so anyways um, again I wasn't able to get all of them I was only able to get 15 out of the 16 so let's go ahead and crack them up now this is gonna be a bump code video also let me put this, this, let me put you down here. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you some bump codes. Now, I don't know what's what yet, but I will, we'll find it out together. So here's the first one. Okay, if you notice these are, that's the bump code right there. Now that's not 100%, that's just kind of like what I've been able to find out or learn um, just from looking at it. So these aren't 100%, so don't, don't don't rely on this video only use the feel method and also check these bump codes um, and the reason I say they're not hundred percent because they, there's so many air bubbles in the in the packaging so it's very hard to see if one is a real bump code or not All right? and because these are impossible to open I'm gonna okay so let's see our first one our first one is gonna be Oh, it's no house. Cool. So let's let's first see what's in the packaging. So here's your checklist. All right. Oh, two superheroes. Very cool. And then here, look. There's also available now the Aussie Disposable Maintenance. Yeah, dispon. Whoop. Oh, never mind. <laughs> different angle. <laughs> different language. Uh, the Quickie Mart's now available, as well as the house. So let's go ahead and build Milt House. And I'm going to write down uh, this bump code is Milt House, okay? Just so we know. Mill House. All right, so we'll put him right there. And let's, let's check him out. So because they're kids, um, they're, uh, their legs are short, so they're tiny. They're smaller than regular normal figures minifigures that is um, so that's that oh you know what? there should be a cape I think there's the cape see 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 you know you have to you have to pay attention to that I know a lot of people in the past have lost their cape hold on one sec oh well, yeah and um, it's upsetting because getting a replacement kind of stinks you know it's hard it's not easy so I want to show there's nothing on the back okay but we do have him whoops sorry about uh, the slow build um, I damaged my nerves in my neck so my finger is really numb and I can't really feel uh, can't really feel this so well so all right and here is his what is his this, this thing it's he's got buzz cola that's his accessory, so that's really cool. And let's let's give him his cola. All right, okay. So and then we'll put him on his obviously on his uh, stand. Cool. So that's Millhouse. Let's go with the next one. Next one is. The next one is this, okay? If you can see the bump codes right here. Let's see what he is. Okay. I'm not going to take the, the little thing out, the checklist each time, because we already know it's a checklist. All right. So this guy is, I forgot his name. Um, what is his name? What is his name? What is his name? That's the guy, but again, I forgot his name. So 
If you look at the head though, it's really done well. It's a great quality custom sculpt, or not custom, but it's a quality sculpt. And and then, you know, I mean, Lego, they're quality pieces. They're quality toys, so. All right, so there we go. And here we have him. Uh, maybe I can see his name right there. Is that his name? What is his name? Nope. Bah, Han something. All right, if you can tell me his name, that'd be great. Outside of that, I don't want to take too long on this video, which will probably take a long time because there's 16 of these things, but let's go to the next one. This one is, again, I forgot his name too. Um, but let's go ahead and that's his bump code, okay? And that's two on each, and one on each end, okay? And it's kind of hard this uh, this this season because uh, the feel method is 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 still the best way to do um, your Lego finds, your minifigure finds. However, um, for example, Homer and the Doctor both have the same exact sex accessories, and uh, they have the same size or shaped head. And here's his little book, coping with a high IQ. I don't know how he holds it, but there he is. And then look at his, his sculpt. It's crazy cool. All right, so let's put him there. Okay, hold on for a sec. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So this is Hans Molman, Mole Man. All right, and this is Martin. So there you have it. Let's keep going. All right, this new bump code is, as you can see right there. Let's see who it is. I think this is one of Marge's uh, sisters. Yep. There's Marge's sister with, oh, well, she has a cloth piece too. All right, guys, remember if you ha are getting um, these figures, hold on. All right, so back to what I was saying. Um, if you're getting uh, these these Lego figures, you got to remember that some of them have cloth pieces, and this is one of those cloth pieces. Um, I believe this is an apron, right? 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 And I'm um, you know I'm not 100% sure, but I think it goes on like this. Okay. Oh, by the way, this uh, for this bump code. This is going to be Selma, one of Marge's sisters, okay? So let's go ahead and put on her apron, okay? Now again, make sure you check all of your packaging because the last thing you want to do is accidentally throw this tiny little piece of fabric out because then you won't have a complete minifigure. And you'll be really upset and bummed and you know the Lego store is gonna say sorry can't help you <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do it this way yes this is very tedious okay so we'll put it like that there's a skirt there's your head um, now, I know this is like totally not PC, but how funny would it be if she had a cigarette pack or something like that? They don't, they don't do that because it's obviously for children, but if you guys know, whoops, if you guys watch the show, you guys know that they are the smoking sisters, but instead she has an eye chart, so. All right, and there you have Selma. So let's put some right there. All right. Next one up. Let's see. The, that is the bump code for that. And so far, um, I'm looking pretty good. No doubles, please. Um, this looks like it is Lisa. Okay. 
So here is Lisa. And as you can see, she has her um, her pink outfit on. Oops. That's her head. Really good sculpt. I mean, they did a matching, uh, hold on a sec. They did a matching uh, pink bow, which is very cool. Yeah, and then uh, there's her legs. And again, she's, she's a kid, so she's a little smaller. She has the kind of legs that don't bend. They just stand. All right, and then alongside of her, she has her little kitty. I forgot the name of the cat, which is kind of sad because I love cats. Um, but there you have it, and that's the bump code right there, okay? Well, I'm supposed to be writing these down, huh? Well, I'll write them down later. I'll just don't knock anything over. All right, next one up is this one, and this is a bump code as so. Okay. So let's see what this one is. Ah, cool. So this one is actually the doctor. I thought I didn't get the doctor, so I was wrong. And here he is. He has that the stethoscope. He is uh, African American, so he's got. He doesn't have yellow skin, obviously, as the other Simpsons characters. There's his face. It's kind of creepy. Um, and then there, there that is. He's got his uh, <laughs> X-ray of Homer's head, which is hilarious. Now, um, Homer, if you can tell, Homer's kind of got the similar style head. And he also has a thing like that too. So, but I'll show you later on in the video if I got Homer. So this one is going to be this bump code. And come on, focus. There we go. You see that one? And let's see who this minifigure is. Oh, this looks like uh, who is this? This is Smithers. So let's go ahead and take Smithers out. Let's see what Smithers looks like. First of all, look at that head. Pretty cool. I mean, great, great job on these these figures. I they're just great. I mean, I love the head sculpts and they look like the real deal. I mean, they they almost look like they could be in the cartoon. And then we have what does he have? He has his accessory is. Malibu Stacy with new hat. So he has a doll box. Which which is basically like that. And then you stick that, I guess. Like the pizza guy, huh? Maybe. And then again, maybe it won't go on. So in in the cart in the uh, checklist it shows that he's carrying this but I don't know how he carries it because it won't stay on it won't stay on his hands so you know um, yeah okay well there you have Smithers yeah it won't stay on his hands so there you have Smithers we'll put that right there and we'll put this Right there next to him. All right. Now, if you remember uh, last season, Mr. Burns was part of the uh, series. So now we have a complete set of us. Um, here's the next bump code. As you can see. Hold on. Let me get that to focus. There we go. All right. So this, I think this is Selma's sister, whose name is Patty. Yep. Again. Remember to check for skirts and other stuff like that. Like, you know, just in case. I, aha, uh -huh. see, there it is. I told you there was a skirt in there. All right, so let's, let's look at Patty. Now, if you guys are collecting and you're using the f uh, feel method, Patty's going to be one of the easiest, and so is Selma, because they both have big, knobby hairdos, and you'd be able to feel the two different shapes, okay? Um, oh, wait, is it supposed to be like, I think, ah, that's what it is. I put this skirt on wrong. Okay, so to properly put the skirt on, I did it incorrectly. 
All right, the way I did it was where there's like kind of an opening in the back, but really you're supposed to do it this way so that there's no opening and the opening comes in the back, not on the side, like how I did mine. So there we go. See, as you can see, and there it is. And then she has a little purse. Okay. So that's very cool. Probably where she keeps her cigarettes. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's Patty. We'll put Patty next to her sister, maybe, yeah? Okay, that's cool. All right, next up. Who do we got? We got this bump code. And have we seen this one yet? No, we haven't. So I'm hoping it's a new figure. It sure is. Here we have the, uh, what is this guy's name? I think it's Frank, P Professor Frank. So there he is with his little blue bow tie. And then I'll we'll put him on a, well, we'll put him in a stand in a second. But then he has this like little uh, beaker or mixing bottle thing with, toxic chemicals in it and there's his head so again another great sculpt and a great um great little setup we like him we like him a lot all right and let's keep going this one is for this bump code again haven't seen this bump code yet Let's see who you belong to. Ah, this is our, our superhero Bart. So remember, superhero Bart has a cape. Do not lose this cape. All right, so let's, um, strangely enough, probably because the costume didn't have anything on it, but he has zero tampos on him. Let's uh, put this cape on right here. Again, I'm sorry uh, I seem to be fumbling with the build on this. My finger is completely numb um, as a result of a really bad car accident I was in about 12 years ago. And as I've gotten older, it's just slowly been getting worse. So fun for me. <laughs> Um, but there he is, and there he is with his legs. And then let's put on his um, weapon, which is a slingshot. All right, that's very cool. Let's put him on a stand. So that's Bart. Um, and again, these bump codes are not 100%, so you cannot rely on them 100%. You can just use them as a reference if you're having a hard time figuring out with the feel method. Here's another bump coat that we're looking at. Let's see who this one is. Aha, uh -huh. an apron, uh, flowers. I think this is Marge. It sure is. All right, so, all right, so here is Marge. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to put on the, ap uh, the apron properly, okay? And that's going to be by doing this. So what you do is, the first thing you do is you take, whoops, whoops, sorry. You take this guy and you put him, you put the middle one on a leg so that it's kind of like hanging like this, okay? Then you wrap, oops. Then you wrap this around and put that over the stump um, right there, okay? Then you take the long side and you do the same thing around that stump right there. So then you have the full and complete wrap around. Yep. And then you take her body and now she is aproned. Okay, 
Now, she has some mild tempos on, um, as you can see right there. They're like, uh, they're tapering. So you, she has more of a feminine body, uh, but that's that. And then you have her with lipstick, which is weird, but it's okay. And those are, I'm assuming, are earrings. So that's kind of cool. Um, she has a gift, so this is this is going out with presents, Marge. Okay, and then let's put the flowers together. So I'm guessing these are tear offs. Yep. So you tear off your flowers, and they give you an extra flower, just so you lose if you lose one, or if you accidentally drop one during the build which happens a lot to me um, and then you have a, a messy floor and they disappear and then your cat finds them and eats them and you find it in the litter box later <laughs> not fun um, oh, oops. so let me put her flowers oh well whoops her flowers are not wanting to get into her hand there we go so that's really cool. All right, and there's Marge. However, what's with the hole in her head? Hmm? I don't know. All right, let's put her right back on her stand. So it looks like I did not find Homer. I don't think I found Homer. That is the guy I think I'm missing, so. All right, the next, the next one up is this one, and you can see this bump code right there. Okay, this, wonder what this is gonna be. Oh, look, it's Edna Crabapple. Is that right, Crabapple, yeah? Um, sadly, she passed away. The voice for Edna Crabapple passed away, I believe, uh, in the middle of 2014. So, this is, you know, sorry. Rest in peace. Um, kind of a, I guess, dedication. I don't think she has a skirt. Maybe she does? No. Oh, she does. Huh. Because, look, she's naked underneath. So we should definitely put her skirt on. And again, there's a special way to do this. Remember, you put it on halfway like this. Or no, halfway like that. Swing this over to that side, put that over there too. And then swing this over here. Whoops. And put that right there. Okay. So then, and then you put her on. So there's her skirt. Okay. And Miss Crabapple has a picture of a uh, of a hot looking guy, probably her boyfriend, or someone she really likes, and a cup of coffee. Alright. Oops. And there is Miss Crabapple. Very cool casting. Very cool minifigure. This series is awesome. I mean, I, I have to say, they really do go all out, and they really make it really cool. Here is another bump series, or bump code. Let's see what this one is. Aha, Willy. It's Willy. The groundskeeper. And here he is. These are his legs. Uh, no other accessories, no cloth. Okay. There's his body. It's a W for Willie. Um, or is that hair? <laughs> uh, and then he has a plunger. Now, this is an accessory that was in an older series. I think it was series 10. They had a plumber. But the cool thing about this is that not only is it a plunger, but this is actually rubber. So that's pretty cool. So it probably actually does work. Do you hear that? <laughs> so his plunger actually plunges. Let's see. Put on the... 
them all. Anyways, so that's really cool. Let's put that in his hand. And then let's check out the head. I mean, wow, guys. They did a great job sculpting this up. Um, Willie the groundskeeper. Who always talks in a thick Irish accent. Uh, not an Irish accent, Scottish accent. All right, my last two. Now remember, there's 16, so I was only able to get two. And there's that bump coat for this. I mean, I was only able to get all of them except for one. I'm wondering, wait, hold on, before I open this. Uh, okay, so um, I think I'm missing Homer, because uh, that's that's what I thought originally I was, I was missing. Um, all right, and this one looks like it's little Maggie. And Santa's little helper. Look at that. It's Santa's little helper. So that's very cool. And he does stand on his own. And here's Maggie. Maggie's a really easy build. Because she's a baby. And, whoops. So she's just a unibodied one piece. Okay. As you can see. Uh-huh. And then there she is with that perfectly sculpted head what's what's the password can't do that anyways um and then there's little santa's little helper i mean proportionately speaking it's pretty awesome right so that's very 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 cool i like it and my last one um who is this this one, I think, I think I know who this is. So this is, as you can see, the bump coat. This is Comic Book Store Dude. Yep. He's Comic Book, I think it's, his official name is Comic Book Guy. All right. And so let's see him. Now, I really wish they would have made him fat instead of made the temples look like he's fat. Because um, that would have been cooler. But they probably didn't want to waste the money because, you know, as you can see, he doesn't really fit proportionately to his body. He's supposed to be fat and, you know, rotund. Although he does have a very cool, squishy um, accessory. And this is, let's put that right there. And no. You do not know who you're talking about when you read the comic books. He's a bit of a snob when it comes to comics and stuff like that. So, all right, and there you have it. That's his bump code. So let's go ahead and put that there. And we'll do a little, like, flyby to give you an idea again one last time to see the bump codes. All right, so let's turn that off. There we go. So here we go, comic book guy. Maggie, Willie, Edna, Marge, Lisa. This is Dr. Hibbert. Oh, sorry, kind of covering our bump codes. So that's Lisa's bump codes. Dr. Hibbert's, Hibbert's off, uh, bump code. Smithers, Professor Frank, Bart. And that's uh, Patty. Selma, Martin, uh, what's his name again? Um, Mole Man, Hans Mole Man, and last but not least, Millhouse. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you like what you saw. Uh, and if you did, or if you didn't, please leave me any comments and questions down below, and I'll answer them as best as I can. Uh, and we'll see you at the next video. By the way, this is my little handy dandy trusty uh, tripod uh, that I uh, made. And I'll put the video right here in case you need to make a video without a stand. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Bye-bye. Wanted to do one last pass through real quick to show you all the, uh, the bump codes, okay? Again, I'm missing Homer. That's the only one I'm missing. But... Um, what I want you guys to do is uh, take a screenshot of this when you're uh, looking uh, 
for minifigures. Take a screenshot of this and then you can print all of them up uh, and then get an idea of what to find. All right. And I'll post this. I'll pause this photo of the uh, of all the bump codes together for a while. So you guys will have time to screenshot it. All right. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Um, share this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.